going to start putting knobs on all the cabinet doors. And these are the knobs that the people have chosen. And what's nice about the knobs or poles is they match the appliances. So that'll be cool. And then they also have knobs, which I haven't seen those yet. Okay, so they're just simple chrome knobs. Okay, so I have to make a little jig for the knobs that will put the knobs right about here. And then I'll make another one that centers the poles here, but it'll we'll just put all the poles at the same point. So all right, let's uh, get hopping. We're installing knobs on the cabinet doors. And the way we're doing that is we have a jig made up here. Three pieces of wood. There's a left side and a right side. So the left side will just fit on right like that. Hold it on and drill your hole. For a right side, you just flip it around and drill your hole there. You have to make sure that these are all square to each other for this to work properly. And that way you put your cabinet knobs on and the knobs are all the same and equal, left or right. Okay, so that is an easy way to do your knobs. Then I still have to make a little jig for the cabinet door fronts where we're going to put in the drawer poles. You remember these match the appliances, but these are all going to go about the center of the small cabinet and then it will maintain the height down from there center here and here on all the other different sizes of door fronts. And so we're just going to install all the door poles about the same distance down from the top. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep drilling and screwing in doorknobs. Okay, I've finished installing all the doorknobs and drawer poles. This one here has a thin panel, it's only a quarter of an inch thick, and the uh, screws are an inch and a quarter, so I had to cut three quarters of an inch off the screw, sand the end of it to make it a little more rounded so that it'll thread into the handle better. These ones here, the door is uh, a little bit thicker, so what we did is countersink the back side of the door front about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch maybe, and then the screws that were supplied with the handles fit fine. And uh, so yeah, that's what we have. So we have our jig here for the door fronts and you measure the center of the door. The wide holes are for the bigger handles and the narrow holes for the smaller handles so they can keep this if they ever have to replace anything and then remember earlier this was the door jig for the wall cabinets and anything with a door on it not going to get a very good exposure on this anyway so anyway that's the uh, jig for the door and uh, that way you, it's a left and right jig, so that way you can uh, be comfortable in that your handles will all be at the same position. So yeah, anyway, everything is looking really good in here. I'm 
still waiting for some uh, one by four oak to go on the top of that wall there to match the cabinets. And I'm not sure if I showed this before, but that was the finished product for the box um, to get vent air from the microwave to the vent in the wall, which goes down and out the side of the house. Okay, well, it is Saturday coming up on 7 o'clock, and uh, I'm going to go home and relax. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these videos, if you're learning anything from them, please do subscribe and follow along. See you on the next video.